Um, I'm Jeff Cassidy, Sheriff of Sullivan County. I want to start out by saying that we've been looking for baby Evelyn since last Tuesday. We've been working 24-7, non-stop. Um, as you all know, she was first reported missing last week, and we're still searching for her and working to determine exactly uh, when she disappeared. We have followed up on over 570 tips along with the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation and Federal Bureau of Investigation. We've been working as a team on this uh, ever since baby Evelyn went missing. At this point, most of you are aware that we've received a number of conflicting, inaccurate statements from the mother, Megan Boswell, Evelyn's mother. During the investigation, we determined that some of the statements Megan Boswell provided to us were false. Many of the false statements that Megan made delayed our investigations and uh, also got in, impeded our investigations on trying to find Evelyn. As a result, she has been charged with false reporting. Because the investigation remains active and ongoing, we can only release specific uh, answers to this uh, investigation. Of course, everybody knows that a lot of it's, uh, a lot of the stuff that we receive and work with it being conflicting and inaccurate uh, and a lot of the information you all are receiving are from the mother, Meg. Uh, a lot of the stuff that you're seeing out on social media and a lot of the stuff that has been relayed to you hadn't come from our, from our office. Uh, so we want to release the most accurate information to you all, and we want to be promptly in doing so. So mo a lot of the stuff that you all are getting uh, is from the mother, uh, and, you know, you take, take with it what you want, but she has been an accurate, conflicting statement. Uh, all through this investigation. Uh, if you have uh, any more information or need information about these specific charges and uh, about maybe the, the future uh, of this case, I would like to refer that to our District Attorney General, uh, Barry Stavis, uh, or District Attorney General uh, Office, okay? Um, also, if you have any questions relating to the Amber Alert process, of course, I'd like to refer you to our public information officer for the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, Leslie Yearhart. Uh, however, please know that we remain committed and continue to do everything possible to find out what happened to Evelyn. Uh, and as always, as soon as relevant information and accurate information, I want to I really reiterate that. As it comes to us, uh, we will get that out as soon as possible, okay? Uh, anyone with relevant information concerning Evelyn's whereabouts or asked to call 1-800-TBI-5, okay? I'm just gonna take a few questions because everything we have released to you, um, you know, that, that have been proved to be relevant or missing information, so there's not really much that we can answer because uh, like I say, this is an active, ongoing investigation uh, and we don't want to have conflicting stories and social media has really impeded this investigation, so we really uh, wanna get just accurate uh, information out to you. Okay, so I'll, I'll take a few questions, and uh, my public inf information officer, uh, Captain Sebo, uh, will take us, uh, if you have anything relating to uh, the missing vehicle uh, and uh, the bolo that we put on the BMW and the charges on the grandmother and uh, Mr. McLeod, okay? Sheriff, yesterday, Megan Boswell told us that she couldn't take a polygraph because she was pregnant. Can you kind of touch on the fact that you guys maybe have not administered one of those to her, or has she received the CBSA or anything like that? She, she was never asked to meet us for any polygraph. Uh, I, we don't actually have a polygraph examiner. Tennessee Bureau of Investigation does the polygraphing. We never set up any type of um, in, or interview for her. Uh, and the pregnant statements, I'll have to leave, leave that to her. Uh, that's information she released to you, of course, it being medical. There's uh, HIPAA uh, violations that we have to look into, and I can't, I can't release that information at this time. Sheriff, do you still believe Evelyn Boswell is alive, and are you any closer to finding where she is? Uh, I hope and pray. Uh, my staff hopes and pray, and everybody who worked on this case hopes and pray she's alive. We're going to continue to work just like she is alive. Sheriff, as more time elapses, is, is this case becoming more complicated? Well, it, it was complicated from the beginning. Uh, good question but like I say we, we, we were just it was just reported last Tuesday um, last known sighting verified was uh, first of December so we were already behind the eight ball uh, 67 68 days before she was even reported missing so a lot of the tips that we followed up on uh, you know they hadn't been really 
relevant to or pertinent to our investigation. Chairs, we're hearing that authorities in Wilkes County are searching in a pond in connection with it. Speaking of those social media rumors, is this true and how can we combat things like that? I'm glad you brought that up, Angie. I meant to tell you all that is just information we just received and uh, that is uh, confirmed. They are looking uh, in an area in Wilkes County, North Carolina. It wasn't asked from uh, anybody that I know of from our agency or Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, but they are uh, actively looking at an uh, area in Wilkes County, North Carolina. And this is in connection with Evelyn Boswell? Yes, ma'am. Is the reward money still at 56000 No, it's up to 59850 how frustrating is it for you as, as the rumors on social media have circulated? We've heard reports possibly in Virginia Beach, now North Carolina. I mean, do you have any idea where these leads are coming from and kind of how are you working to combat those that are, that are false? Well, that's one thing I want to relate to the public. You know, law enforcement has to work on probable cause. We can't go on assumptions, gut feelings. Uh, we have to have uh, relevant, sufficient evidence to prosecute a case. Uh, so with that, you know, I got with the district attorney general late last night while we were working on this case, and uh, all we have at the time was false reporting. So we uh, arrested her for that, and uh, like I say, we, you know, our main concern right now is finding Evelyn. But like you said, very frustrating. Two months before she's even reported missing, it puts us behind, puts our investigation behind, and then, uh, like you say, speculation, uh, people posting on social media assumptions. We can't go on assumptions. We've got to have facts. And with the facts, we have to have probable cause before we can uh, execute search warrants, make arrests, if that makes sense. Chair, following up on that, how should the community officers ask any questions? What can they do? The community has been outstanding, the outpouring support um, of the support from the community. But you've got to, you've got to think of our timeline of two months, over two months of her missing. Uh, we would love to have a grid search area and form search teams to assist us in, in locating it on the uh, 413 square miles in our county. And then there was a possibility of Mendota, some possibilities of North Carolina. You can imagine the uh, labor intensive work we would have to have just trying to form a search team. Uh, if we can get some information to where we can narrow that down to uh, in a mile grid area, we would be glad to have more help. But just prayers, concerns, support from uh, our local community and all over the nation has, has really been outpouring. We appreciate the prayers and support. Sheriff, have you been able to speak to the grandmother since she got back to Wilkes County? I have not myself, but she has been questioned by investigators. What has she told you? Uh, I'll leave that up. That's still under investigation. I, I really wouldn't like to comment on that. Sheriff, I know that um, you've all said that her story has changed. Well, the mother's story has changed multiple times since you guys initially started talking to her. Since she's been arrested, has her story changed yet again? Or kind of what, have, what has been like? Every since time you we talk to her, her story changes. And I'm serious when I say that every single time. Sheriff, you said uh, the last verified sighting was the 1st of December a few moments ago. We previously heard it was December 26, December 11th. 10th or 11th? 10th or 11th is what I've been going on simply because it was verified by somebody that's not lied to. And is that the babysitter? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so so you, you talked to him or her? We've interviewed everybody. Okay. okay. Uh, thank, thank you. Time. Thank you very much. And like I say, we will promptly get information out to you as it comes to us when it's relevant and accurate. Uh, so like I say, just be patient with us. Uh, I appreciate your all's patience, but as you can tell, this is a, a very, very difficult case and whenever uh, a lot of stuff comes to us it's just not accurate I don't want to get that too thank you very much I appreciate it if you guys have follow-up questions